So I think most people in archaeological illustration will start out in the field before choosing to specialise. But when I left university, I was offered a training placement in illustration. And then after I finished my training, I started working for Cotswold Archaeology. And I've now been here for about two years. The work we do in the illustration team is really varied, so it's quite hard to describe a typical day. Um, sometimes we can be recording finds, we can be taking photographs. Um, occasionally I get asked to design posters or information boards or to draw reconstruction drawings. Um, but I spend most of my time creating illustrations for reports and publications. So our archaeologists will record data out on site about where trenches are placed and what archaeology is found in them. And then we'll use that data to create um, site plans, trench plans, section drawings, which show really clearly what was found and where. As an archaeological illustrator, there's always something new to learn, which is one of the real joys of the job. Um, lately I've been learning about fine storing and practicing using pottery. Um, I'm currently paging up some drawings which are done by another illustrator showing all sorts of beautiful swords and brooches and belt buckles so that's been a really interesting project to work on. Um, my role means I get to work with people from all different teams within the company as well which I really enjoy. So if you're interested in becoming an archaeological illustrator, I would say learn as much as you can. Um, try to talk to some people who are already working as archaeological illustrators. Try to get some excavation experience. That's really important. Uh, most of my work is computer based. I use programs like GIS and Adobe Illustrator. So it's good to build up those kind of skills too. But like I said, there's always something new to learn and it's very rewarding. Um, so yeah, archaeology is just a really interesting sector in which to work. Thank you. <laughs>